Hi everyone, so this is our real estate starter kit and here we have the homepage. So we have some scrolling listings here. If I go down, we have a featured listing section. Uh, here we have only three. Ideally you would want four, so only you will have only four featured here. Uh, here we have a property which is very cheap. Uh, and then we have some featured categories. This is all configurable from the control panel. And then here we have another section. These are all texts that you can edit. Again, this featured section. And then we have some explore series section. If you click here, it will take you to that city URL where you can see all the properties on that city. Then we have some agent pages. And then we have this scrolling uh, testimonial section. If I I click on one, the scrolling stops. So pretty neat. Uh, so I'll go over all the pages that we cover and all the features that we have. So we have an About Us page. And this is all editable from the control panel, these sections and everything. So kind of the same sections, but in so with with different styles i would say so uh if i click here on an agent you you would see their profile so for example here is alexander and then you have social media icons which you can configure from the control panel and the bio and then we have alexander's listings which is only one so if i click on this listing this listing belongs to alexander so we have some relationships going on here so uh, this listing uh i'll go i'll come back to this so uh that's all there is for an agent if we go back to agents we can search them so this also works and so that's about it and then we have the properties page okay so uh, we have this map, which you can disable, and then you can enable here. Keep in mind that having the map as an option, you will have to add a map box API key, which is something that we are using for the map. And you'll have to go through the control panel and go to theme options and enable the map because we disable it by default because it adds a lot of JavaScript to the page. So if you want to show this, you'll have to enable it, which I think is enabled by default. Okay, so in this map, we do show every property with their location. You can click, you can see the property and everything. So if you have more properties here, I only have three now, but if you have more, ideally you could filter all of them. And like uh, every time you do a filter here, for example, for sale, you will see only those properties listed here and in the neighborhood. So these are some cheap houses for the LA area, but okay. Uh, and then here, this search, you can close it or you can show the filters. We have a lot of filters, for example, for the minimum price, maximum, the location, some bedrooms, bathrooms, floor area, and these are all configurable from the control panel. Then we have some categories, which is apartment, office, or studio. And you, we just added those as an example of all the options that are available with this starter kit. So if I click on this listing, uh, so now we are on a listing page. Uh, and here we do have a gallery with all the pictures. If I click here, we have a full screen gallery of all the images on this listing. So I'm going to close that. We do have a share link, uh, the title, the location. And now these are like some of the amenities that this listing has. I'll use the word amenities, but these are basically some of the features that this listing has. And then there is a price. And then you have two forms here. One is to schedule a tour and the other one is for contact us. Uh, you can select a date here, a time, a phone number and email address. And for the contact us form, you have the first name, last name, phone number, email address, and the message box. So if we go to the description, this is a BART field, so very easy to, to edit. We do have 
uh, watch video tour, which is a little video that we have here. And you can open or close it. We decided to keep it closing so the page loads quicker. And then here we have property details, and this is all configurable from the control panel. You can add anything here. You are not limited to interior details or anything similar. Uh, you can literally type anything and then like type out all the features that your property has. So this was uh, built with a lot of customizability in mind. So everything you see here can be changed. And then we have listing by agent. So in this case, it's Anna. And you can ask a question, which will go to their email, or you can contact them, which will go to their phone number. And here we also have a map, which shows where the property is located. If I click here, you, you're going to see it's the same property. So uh, yeah, so it's the same property. So let me go back here. And this is so roughly what we do have for a listing. Uh, you can always add more, remove, and then let me, so this is another property, which is for rent. Again, some of the same features here. These are all expandable. You can, so here is a different agent. You can see the location. It will remember the last zoom that you have. So again, same, same listing. And I'll go to agents here, which we were before and now we're going to click contact us just so you see this quest this section here too so we do also have a contact us page and then a map where this real estate company is located basically and here it's with a marker so you can uh on the control panel you could add any uh latitude or longitude and it will display that as a location so I would say pretty easy. Then we have some generic pages like the terms of service, privacy policy, etc. So this is like uh, how the website look. And then we have like different sections for the home, uh, for the featured listing. So everything you see here, we also have different styles for each one of these sections. So I'll go through, I'll go now to the console panel just so you can see what we have here. Okay, so let me go to collections. And then, so here we have properties, pages, testimonials, cities, and agents. So these are all connected. And then we have the, the, the categories that you saw earlier, and they have some icons here. And then we have uh, the collections. So let's start with the agents. So let ins let's inspect an agent. So we have title, position, image, social media, as I mentioned, and then the bio. And then if I go back to the cities, so for each city, you can create an entry and then you could see all those listings uh, for that. So this is the city and now we have all the listings on this city, which we have only one for now, but so this is how it looks. Uh, and now I'll go back. So a city has only a title, a featured image, and then this is used for the map. So if you're gonna use the map, you'll need to add this latitude and longitude. So I'll go back to the collections and I'll go to properties. So here are the properties. For example, this is the Beach Bros Realty Inc. We have category, we have a date, uh, which I don't think we need, but it's nice if you are using if you are using published states. So you can feature this listing, or you can show the property status, which is for sale or for rent. Again, you can customize this as you need. And then here we have the description. Here we have the video that we saw. And then here we have the property details that I mentioned. So everything here, the title, the specs. So everything is configurable. And you can add here basically anything. So you're not li limited to anything. And on the map section, you either have map only or map and content. So if you click content, you can add text on the right side of the map. So I'm going to click map only again here. And then here we have property details where we select the agent who's in charge for this property, the price, uh, your build, the status, 
And now here we have some property features that you can select some icons. You can also add your own here if needed, but you'll have to change the blueprint. And then we have the type and the description. The reason why we have it like this is because we use extent. So we use the search to filter all the properties that have four bedrooms, for example, or four bathrooms or the style, etc. Then we have the gallery, which is used at the hero section of the property. We have the location. Uh, you can select a city, which is an entry. And then we have the forms. So here we have the two forms. You can always remove one and you'll have only one form. And these are the CEO settings, which are pretty generic, I would say. And now if I go to pages and if I go to home, so you'll see here the what I mentioned that for every section, we do have some variants. For example, let me go to live preview. So if I change the hero section, so now you see I have variant two. Uh, you can see this image because of uh, the size. And then we have some variant three. Uh, this also has an image here, but my screen is now very small, so you can see that. And then for featured listings, you have this. Uh, you have featured categories and then you have multiple features. This also, so multiple features will be this one. And this also comes on different variants, as you can see, which we can change. Uh, and then we have the, uh, column section. So that will be this one. And then we have the city section which also comes with three variants. So I'm going to show you quickly some of them. Okay. And then we have the agent section. Again, this also comes with three variants and then the testimonial section, which also comes with three variants. So we have this, which is a slider that's with a progress bar and then it slides. The, you saw variant number two, and then this is like, just like a generic slider with the testimonial image here. Pretty cool, I would say. Uh, now let me exit. So that's all for home. But then the same thing goes basically for every. So all the pages are built with our page builder and like everything, you can edit basically anything. Now, if I go to globals, as I, as I mentioned on theme, we do have some settings. For example, the menu could be back. Uh, so it could be transparent or white. Uh, this is helpful if you are using the header section where you have a blue background, you might select the text color as white. You can change the logo. So you have settings, you can select the currency, the unit of measurement, if you have a map, and then what kind of map variant do you want? We also do models, so you will not have it on the side, but it will pop up as a model. And then the floor area, you can add as many as you need here. Then we have social media, Favicon. This is the no results page. And then this is the footer. And then you can select here the footer menu. So that's about it for the theme. And that's all we have on this starter kit. So if you have any ideas or if you want to see any new sections, or if you think that we are missing anything, let us know on GitHub and we'll try our best to get back to you. Thank you.